Hey there, Lickin' Riffers. Welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. Ever since I made the Sultans of Swing arrangement lesson, you've been asking for brothers in arms and now you're going to get it. So prepare your fingers. First I'm going to play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're going to break it down note by note, solo by solo, chord by chord, everything with tabs right here on the screen so you have about seven minutes to get mentally prepared. It goes like this. Enjoy.
Okay, first things first, before we begin the lesson, I'd like to alleviate your concerns regarding the difficulty of this arrangement. This is not a difficult arrangement, it's just a very long one. Most of it revolves around the same scale, the same notes, and the same three chords, okay? Because the solos take a, a very big part of the song. So uh, you'll see, we're gonna break it down in a very methodical way, so it'll be easier for you to practice it as well, okay? and memorize it. So uh, the intro solo begins with this. Okay, a slide from four to six on the fifth string and then six on the fourth. Okay? okay, and you want to mute the fifth string when you play the fourth. You don't want, okay? you don't want both of them. You want, okay, so you just touch the fifth string with your thumb. Okay, and then three on the third string, six again on the fourth with your little finger. And then you let it ring. You let this note ring, the G sharp note, and then put on G sharp five with four and six on strings six and five. Okay, so okay, this is the beginning. Then this G sharp over B, and then G sharp five again, and then G sharp over B again. So after you do this. You play this, six, six, and seven on strings four, five, and six, okay? Then you play G sharp five, okay? Again, four, six, six on the bass strings, and then the G sharp over B again. And then you have this, okay? It's three on the third string, and then four and four on strings three and six. And then, It's um, a three four into the G sharp bass, and then six four three on the third string. Okay, so and then you have six on the fourth, hammer on from four to six, or a slide from four to six on the fourth with the E bass, and then six again. Okay. Remember this because these are the notes you're gonna play almost in every solo, okay? Exactly the same notes, just in different variations. And then, remember this as well, okay? Bar on four, you play strings three, two, and then you put on the C-sharp minor chord with um, six and six and strings three and four. And you can just pick strings three and five, okay, on six and four. So, okay, you don't you don't have to put the five on, okay? okay, as long as you mute the second string. You don't want a sus two chord, okay? You don't want this. You want, okay, to mute it right before you pick it, and then you bar the fourth uh, fret to the sixth string, okay, and you play strings two. And six. Okay, and that's your idea. Now, you don't have to uh, you don't have to bar actually. You can use your thumb for the G sharp bass and just solo four on the second, six four three on the third. Remember, I told you it's gonna be the same notes. Okay, and keep the bass going. Okay, and then you have six on the fourth, and then the E bass again with uh, uh, four slide to six on the fourth, three on the third, six, six on the fourth. Okay, so it's, okay, that's the idea. And then the C sharp bass, just four on the fifth string. Then you have, okay, zero, two on strings, two and six, hinting at E and F sharp, so, this is the intro, so it's low key. And then you have this, okay? It's um, an octave, you can do it like this, okay? Uh, whichever is convenient for you. It's the G sharp, again, okay, the G sharp minor chord, just an octave, uh, with six on the fourth uh, string, and 
you play it, and then it's 686, six, hammer on, pull off, or double slide. I like the double slide better. And then you just play the bass again, okay? Or the G sharp five chord. And just like at the beginning, when you did this. So, um, and let them both spring. Okay, um, so that's the intro. Right, so the last uh, line was okay, C sharp bass, hinting at E and F sharp, and then okay, just the bass would do, or just the G sharp five chord. That's the intro. Now we're gonna learn the verse, okay, the verse without the solos in between. And then for each subsequent verse, we'll just add the solos, okay? We'll just sprinkle them in because it's a lot easier to learn it that way. Once you know the verse, once you memorize the verse, you can just add the solos in between because each verse has the solos at the exact same places. You just need to add them in between what you already memorized. So the verse starts with this, okay? The open second string, the open B string, three times, and the third time with an F sharp bass. Okay? And then I slide to four on the second string and then play two on the E string. If you want to keep the bass ringing, you can use your thumb. Okay? I think it's unnecessary. Okay? And then it's an E chord, a D shape on four, four, five, four with the sixth string. And then you have F sharp. Okay, just strings two, three, four, and six. F sharp, bar on two, E shape. Now this is where the first solo usually comes along. Okay, so remember that we're gonna add the solos later. E, and then F sharp. Then you have two, 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 four on the second string. You can harmonize, okay? Okay, you can hammer it on. Okay? With your little finger. And then the E string on two. Then you have B, B sus4, B. Okay? So I just put this on without this finger. Okay? It's more convenient. Bar on two, four and four on strings two and three. I play strings two, three, and five. And then five on the second string, I play the same strings. And then I take it back to four and I play strings one, two, three, and five. Okay, so and you can slide uh, slap in between, and then you have this. Okay, two 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 on the E string with one a B flat bass note on the fifth string, with the uh, last note with the third note. Okay, and then okay four on the second string with a little finger and two on the E string again. And then you have G sharp minor, right? Just bar the fourth fret. Play strings one, two, three, and six. And then D sharp minor, bar on six, A minor shape, strings two to five. This is where the second solo usually comes along. So once again, um, and then B. D sharp minor, D sharp minor. And then you have this. Okay? Eight, eight on the third string, it's in the chord. You lift the bar for the open E string and then seven on the B string, it's in the chord. So you just lift the bar. E again. Okay, you have space here. And then you have F sharp again, but you start with F sharp sus4. Okay, it's uh, just like you put the B chord, but upwards, okay? One string up or down musically to the bass notes. Okay, so bar on two, bass on two on the sixth string, four and four on strings three and four. Okay, and I pick that, strings three, four, and six. And then you have this, okay? So it's two, two on the E string, and the second F sharp note is with F sharp major instead of sus4. So I just put three on the third string. So and I 
play scoring one, two, three, and six. Okay? So. Okay? And then four again on the second string, two on the E string, and then G sharp minor, D sharp minor again. And this is where the third solo usually comes along. Okay? And then you do this. Um, you can either do the previous line again, or okay, uh, just strings two, two, three, two, three. Okay? Anyway, you like to play it. And then the solo, E again, C sharp minor, strings two to five, and then F sharp sus four again. And then you do the same thing you did before, but with the second string. Okay? Um, two, two on the uh, second string into F sharp major with three on the third string. So, and then four on the second string again, two on the first string again, and then G sharp minor again. Okay? I play strings two, three, four, and six. This is G sharp minor seven, but it works here. And then six, four on the third string, and then a little bit of a solo. Okay, slide to six on the fourth with E, and then five on the second string. This is an E chord because it's in the C shape bar on four. So we're just soloing it. And then four on the second string, and then F sharp sus four and F. Okay, this time I play strings two, three, and four because this is the final note of the lyrics. So, okay, and you can arpeggiate it. Okay, any way you like to play that line is fine. And that's the verse. Okay, now we're gonna add the solos for the first verse. Um, so, okay, E, F sharp, and then you have, okay, this is a solo, okay? Four pull off to two on the second string, four on the third, two on the second, after the E, F sharp line. Okay? And then you have B, D sharp minor, first solo, okay? It's your little finger on the third string, playing eight, Pull off to six, six, hammer on to eight. And then. And then you have the F sharp sus four to F line. And then you have this again to D sharp minor. And then just strings three and four. That's the first solo. And then from E to the end. So those are your first solos. After F sharp, you have this. After the first D minor, you have this. After the second D, D sharp minor, you have this. Okay, this, strings three and four. Then you have the first solo, the first uh, guitar solo. So it's, okay? Now remember, all the solos revolve around the same chord progression. G sharp minor, E, C sharp minor, and E. Okay? So it's always around the same bass notes. Okay? 4 0 on the 6th string, 4 on the 5th string, and the open E bass string again. So 4 pull off to 3 on the 3rd string. And then 4 and 4 on strings 3 and 6. And then 6 4 3 on the 3rd. Six on the fourth, and then E, the E bass, with four slide to six, six on the fourth. Okay, and then you have C sharp minor, and then you have E with two on the second string. Okay, E six. Then you have this. Okay, it's 
practice uh, the G sharp bass again with your second finger with four, three, six, four, three on the third. Okay, you can pull it off. Okay, and then six, four slide to six on the fourth, the E bass with the slide. And then this again from the first solo, from the intro solo. <clears throat> Bar on four. Strings three two and then the C sharp minor with six on the third string. Then you have G sharp minor, just strings two three four and six, and that's the first solo. C sharp minor, E six, okay. Not too difficult, right? And then you have G sharp minor. Then you have the second verse, right? Now let's add the solos. You have the first line, E, F sharp, okay? Then you have this, okay? It's uh, three pull off to one, one hammer on to three on the third string, but with two and two on strings two and six. So you have to put this on. These two fingers on two and two, and you play strings two, three, and six. Okay, and you pull off from three to one on the third, one again, and then hammer on to three, harmonized by the second string. Okay, and then you have the, um, the next line. You can slide and then B. And after D sharp minor, you have the first solo, which is this. Seven pull off to six on the second string, and then you leave the first stringer off, and you play strings three, two, four. So it's okay, and then you have E, and then F sharp, and then the line again to D sharp minor, and you have this. Okay. It's nine, seven, six, hammer on to seven on the second string and eight on the third. So, okay. And then you continue from So, <clears throat> the three solos again, the first one after F sharp. The first uh, solo after D sharp minor. And the second one. Okay? And then you end the verse. Then you have the second solo. You slide into the bar of the fourth fret for G sharp minor. So, okay? you slide on the second string and then play the chord strings one two three and six and then okay, you arpeggiate strings one two and three and then three on the third string with the E bass and then three sixes on the fourth string C sharp minor E any way you want to play them then Three, four on the third into G sharp again, okay? The G sharp bass. And then six, four, three, and then four pull off to three on the third string with E. Six, six on the fourth, and then this again. Okay? I don't have to explain this again, right? Okay, the C sharp line, and then G sharp minor again. Now you have the bridge. The bridge repeats the G sharp minor again. Okay, the bass and then strings two and three. There's again then so many, okay, so many different worlds. So G sharp, bass, strings two, three, and then the third string again. Then F sharp, okay, strings two, three, and, uh, and six. Two, three, four, and six. And then, okay, four on the second, four on the third. Okay, so it's, it's a little bit. Okay, you have to stop the chord there. Then two on the second string, and then G sharp minor again. 
then you have this. Right? Just like the beginning. Right? It's slide from four to six on the fifth string. And then you play six on the fourth with E. Eight slide to nine on the fourth. Eight on the third and then F sharp again. Okay, so you have. Got it? And then you have this. Okay. Four slide to six on the third. And then B. Play strings two, three, and five, and then the first string, and then four, two on the second. E with the open second string, and then you have this. Okay, three, four, pull off to three on the third, six on the fourth, four on the third, and you play the E bass again with the pull off. F sharp has four. And then four on the third string and then F sharp. Okay? With the full chord, not just the suspended. And then again. Okay, the same move. Four on the second, four on the third, two on the second, G sharp minor. And then you have this. Okay? So you have to calculate it. Okay, this. Okay, it's five on the second string, and then the bass goes to two on the fifth, with four on the second, two pull off to zero on the second, four on the th second again. Okay, too many numbers, too many strings. So, um, okay, it's funny that sometimes it feels like there's so many strings. Uh, so, yeah, this is the move. And then F sharp again, with two on the second string being your melody. And then you prepare for B, you play four on the second string, and then you play B with the E string as your melody three times. Okay, so you have this note first. Four on the E string, and then E with the second string as the melody. Again, I play strings two, three, four, and six. Then you have the keyboard line. So um, it's um, okay, 2, 4, 2, 0 on the second string, and then E again with the open second string. Okay, I pull it off, okay, 4 to 2, okay, and I play the E bass again. Then the E bass again with 3, 4, 3, okay, on the third string, and then with my little finger, 6, 6 on the third the fourth string into G sharp minor again and I play the three bass string and then you have the next solo okay you have no time to rest okay okay you slide that six uh, to none on the fourth and then arpeggiate um, eight on the third, <clears throat> the third string, seven on the second, and then hammer on seven to nine with E. Okay, so it's right, and then you have this. Um, it's seven slide to five with your second finger on the second string because you land on C sharp minor, and then you play the chord. Now, if you find this difficult. You can uh, you can do seven on the second string and the open E string, but it doesn't sound as good. Okay, to give you time to make the transition, doesn't sound good to me. This sounds better to me. And you prepare the finger for the chord, so work on it if you find this one difficult. And then E. And then you have G sharp minor, just the bar. You play strings one, two, three, and six, and you continue. You have a long line here. Um, okay, it's the chord. Seven, four on the second string, four on the third, four, seven on the second, and then seven slide to nine with E. Okay, and then you have this. 
Um, Four hammer on to six on the E string and then C sharp minor with four on the E string. Okay, so it's and then seven five on the second string using your little finger. Then you have this. Okay, you have four seven pull off to four twice on the second string and then you slide into G sharp minor again by playing strings one two and six or one two three and six. So. Um... Okay, you can play okay, the E string first and then play the, the chord if you want. Okay, a syncopation. And then this. Then, okay, just like the beginning of the second solo, okay, it's almost the same line. It's strings one, two, and three with the G sharp minor bar. Then three with the E bass, okay, three on the third string, so, and then six, hammer on to six, six on the fourth, then C sharp minor, and then E, F sharp, G sharp minor, okay, all on strings, two, three, um, two, three, four, and six, and then six, six on the fourth uh, string into E. And then you have a variation on the, the line we repeat all the time. Okay. So you play four on the third, six on the fourth, four on the third, four on the second, and then C sharp five, and then G sharp minor, strings two, three, and six, and then six, four on the third string. This was the second solo. Okay. So. Um, second finger. You can play the E string first. What we played before, and then the chords for the first time. the third verse and then remember this okay now you don't pull off the three to one you just play one one hammer on to, uh, to three okay so and this this is the first solo then of course Play the verse two D sharp minor, then you play this. Uh, okay, six six on the E string. Uh, nine pull off the seven hammer on to nine, and then seven again. And then, okay, you play the next line to E, and then you have this beautiful, beautiful line. And then you do like this. So you play hammer on from six to seven on the fifth, six on the fourth, six on the third, okay, eight, nine, eight on the third string, and then F sharp sus four. After the next D sharp minor, you play. Six on the E string, nine seven nine on the second string, six six on the E string. Okay, so and then you have a different last line. Different last line. You have okay, you have two on the second string, and then the F sharp with two two on the E string, and then you have five on the second string or the open E string. Okay. And then G sharp minor strings two, three, and six. And then just like, um, just like all the rest, six, four on the third, and then this E, and then four, and then uh, 
four on the second string, I mean, and then F sharp sus four and F sharp. So that's the last verse. I'll play it with uh, the variations. Okay, you have. Was the previous one? And then that different line, and then the rest is the same. Now for the last and final solo, including the organ solo, the keyboard solo, and then back to the guitar, the whole solo. So, G sharp minor. And then this again. Okay, the arpeggio, strings one, two, and three, three on the third string with E, and then another variation, six, four slide to six, six. The first time it was just six, the second time it was a hammer-on, now it's a slide. Okay, then C sharp minor, and then E. And then, okay, bar for G sharp minor, bass, strings two, one, and then seven slide to nine on the uh, second string. And then you have this, okay, so it's, you don't have a bass for a moment, but that's okay. Uh, you have nine on the second, six on the first, and then E with 9 pull off to 7, hammer on to 9, 7 on the 2nd string, so it's... Okay. And then you have that pull off again, 9 to 7 on the 2nd string, and then you have... Uh, ah, why, why can't I? Okay. C sharp minor, 5 pull off to 4 on the 2nd string, 6, 6 pull off to 4 on the 3rd. Okay, so it's... Then G sharp minor again. This time springs two, three, and six. And then you have what I consider the most brilliant line here because it's such a brilliant double stop. It's just a brilliant use of harmony because um, Mark Knopfler can come up with incredible melodies, but only, only few people can come up with such a brilliant line as this. But using this double stop, he can express so much. This is a brilliant line. This is, in my opinion, this is the most ingenious line of the whole solo, the whole song, uh, for reasons I just explained. Right? So you play, you play, okay, and then E. Okay? So you change in the middle. You start with seven and six on strings two and three, then seven and four twice. Okay, and then you do it again, right, but the second seven and four you play with E, and then you play it again, and then you play five and four, which is terrific, terrific, I just, I love this. Right? And then C sharp minor, E, F sharp, G sharp minor. And then you can pull off 6 to 4 on the 3rd string, and then E, C sharp minor, and then you have the line some of you have been waiting for. Okay. Bar on 4, bass, arpeggio, strings 3, 2, 1, and then 6 on the E string, and then 7, 7 on the E string with E, but this is thin. Now you can play the open 2nd string. But this doesn't sound so good because it's an octave, so I uh, resolved it with five. So it's seven and five on strings of one and two, so. Okay. And then C sharp minor, E, and then, okay? 
It's a slide to four on the second string into the bar again, and then you play strings one and six, and then two, one, two, one, and then again six on the E string, and then seven and five twice with E. Okay, and then you have four on E. You can play it with the five as well. Then you bar nine. For C sharp minor, you play the bass, then you play the chord, strings one, two, and three. And then you play the chord again, then I play the G sharp minor bass, you bar on four, and you do. Okay, so you play the bass, you play the chord with seven, six, four on E, seven, four on B, four, three on the third string, with E. Again, on three. Okay, all the notes we've played before. So it's... Okay. Then the three sixes on the fourth string, which was the first variation that we played of this line. And then C sharp minor. And then you continue, you get ready for the keyboard solo, which is... What we played at the very, very first intro solo, 0 and 2 on strings, 2 and 6, and then okay, 4 on the bass again with 0 to 0 on the second string, I hammer on the first two, and then um, I do it again with E, and then you have, right, it's uh, the C sharp uh, 5, okay, so you play the C-sharp bass with 6, you vibrate it on strings 3 and 4, and then you do it with the E bass. Okay? You can just play the C-sharp here, you don't have to move to E. So... And then the organ solo. You start with the 4 on the 3rd string, and then G sharp minor, strings 2, 3, and 6, and then E, and then you have, okay, so it's C sharp minor again, strings 5, and then 3 and 4, and then 4 on the 3rd, 6, 6 on the 4th into E, and then 6 again, you bar 4 for G sharp minor, you play the, with the bass, you play the 4th string on 4 hammer on to 6, 4 on the 3rd, 4 hammer on to 6, again on the 4th. E, C sharp minor, E, okay, the chords, any way you like. So once again, Seven. Okay, with the same ending. So it's two four four, like a B chord, with G sharp on the bass. Okay, so it's two four four with four on the bass, and then with the open E bass, and then you have the four on the fifth string for C sharp, and you do. Four, two, four on strings one, two, and three. This is G. This is a C uh, sharp minor seven. Okay, so and then one on the third string with E, and then the same ending as the previous line. And then okay, the C sharp minor and E, and then the guitar returns. So G sharp minor, you play the chord for just a little while, and then strings two, one, six on E, seven slide to nine with E. Okay, you play the E with the slide, and then seven pull off to six, nine on the second string, and then seven slide to nine again on E. And then I put the thumb on nine for the C sharp bass, seven on E. So it's. then the G sharp minor 7 for a moment there, okay? 
play the bass, then strings one, and then two and three. And then you have E, right? Six pull off to four on the third, six on the fourth with E. And then, right? Four on the third, five on the second, and then C sharp minor with six on the third with the C sharp bass. So, then I have this. Okay, <clears throat> it's E again, and then and uh, you have okay four five four on the second string. You can play the E bass at the end of the line, okay, or the beginning. Okay, the right position is at the end of the line. Okay, with the pull off, <clears throat> six on the third, four on the second, four hammer on to six on the third. Okay, and then you have this. Bar again on four, we're almost done. Um, second string. And then the bass with seven pull off to four on E, seven vibrated on the second string. And then the E string on four. And then, wait, right, seven pull off to four on the second, and then four three on the third into E again. Okay, and then six. Four slide to six on the fourth, uh, still on E, then C sharp minor, any way you want to play it, and then, okay, zero, two on strings, two and six, and then um, the four on the bass with two, four, two, zero, hammer on, pull off, and then picking the open string. E, C sharp minor, E, and then. your lesson so before you go download the tab for free the link is below in the description subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you're welcome here to join the lick and riff community there is hundreds literally hundreds of free lessons for you uh, to enjoy and I welcome you here so um, go download the tab it's for free just like this lesson everything on like and riff is for free the link is below in the description but if you want to give something back anyway there's a donation button on the website where you go download the tab or a patreon link in the description as well anything you choose to give back I thank you very much for your generosity and everything goes right back into like and riff and to making these lessons and helping you learn guitar and get better and be creative with the instrument and with music. Thank you very much for watching this. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.